Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge day by day. In day 12, we are working with inheritance. If you're not familiar with this concept, please check out the tutorial because this is a fundamental concept to computer science. Through inheritance, child classes can use both their methods and the methods of their parents. This makes coding easier by allowing you to share code and properties between classes. Our goal today is to implement a child class, student, that inherits from the person class. We also use the term base class to refer to the class that student is inheriting from. Our student class will have a constructor that has four parameters, a string first name, a string last name, an integer ID, and an integer array of test scores called scores. The student class will also have a calculate method that calculates a student's average score and returns the letter grade representative of their average based on this chart. This is a two-part problem. The first part is extending the person class's constructor in student to take an additional parameter so that all student objects are instantiated with the scores array. The second problem is calculating a student's average and returning the letter grade. HackerRank is nice enough to parse the input for us into four separate variables for the first name, last name, ID number, and scores array. We will create a student constructor that takes in those four parameters and calls the parent constructor to initialize a person, then finish the initialization of a student in the student's constructor. If you need a refresher on classes or instances, you can review day four of HackerRank 30 day challenge. To calculate a person's letter grade, we will use an if-else ladder. If the person's average score is below 40, we will return T. Otherwise, if their average score is below 55, we will return D, and so on. The thing to remember here is that when we return D, we simply need to check if the average score is below 55 because we already checked if the average score is below 40 previously to return T. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. First, let's take a look at how HackerRank will be interacting with our student class. HackerRank has written some code for us to handle the input and parse it into four variables. The first name, last name, ID, and scores. They then initialize a student and pass in the four parameters to our constructor that we will write. Then they call print person from the parent class to print the first name, last name, and ID number. Finally, they call calculate to print out the student's letter grade. Also, let's take a look at our base person class. It has a constructor that takes in the first name, last name, and ID number. The base class also has a print person method to print out each person's information. Now let's build our student class. Normally, in our constructor, we would initialize our object with the parameters simply by storing them on the object like this. However, since we are using inheritance, we can lean on our base class to do some of the heavy lifting for us by calling its constructor. So we have our base class first initialized, then do any extra stuff that is student specific in our student constructor. Inheritance thus makes our code more concise and allows changes to person to also update in the student class. To calculate the average test score, we will sum all the scores in our scores array, then divide by the length of the array. Then we will make an if-else ladder that returns the right letter grade for the test score.
this ladder could have either been increasing or decreasing in value. But the important thing is that we go in order to reap the benefits of the conditions we checked before this. For instance, when we are checking if the student's average score is less than 80 to return A, we know that the average is at least above 70 because we checked if the average was less than 40, less than 55, or less than 70 previously. Once we determine which bucket the average test score is in, then we return the letter grade. Okay, let's test our solution. Oops, looks like we misnamed uh, our variable score instead of scores. This is why it's important to test before you submit. So in our initializer for student, we had a parameter scores um, that we were assigning to the object, but we named it score instead of scores. So let's try it again. All right, looks good. Let's submit our code. Great, we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the previous video, please click here to review it. Or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.